Window 10 is the most complex operating system that Microsoft has ever created. It does include many useful features that are quite handy. This video will include newer feature along with some of the older feature that are still available on Windows 10. Let's get started with Snip and Sketch. Snipping Tool was a popular Windows app which is now modernized to new version called Snip and Sketch. You can access it by typing Snip and Sketch or by pressing Window key plus Shift plus letters. This shortcut will provide three options. Rectangle, Freeform or Full Screen. A notification preview will appear. By clicking the image it will take you to the app where you can edit it with all the available tools. Window 10 has a feature called snapping which allows you to open multiple windows on your desktop. To see it in action, open a desired window and minimize it then press Windows key plus left arrow on your keyboard. Again open a window then press Windows key plus right arrow. Open a window again press Window key plus up arrow. For the last time open window press Window key plus down arrow. So as you can see multiple windows has opened this tip will help you when you are working on your projects. Windows 10 has cool feature called dictation. Use dictation feature to convert spoken word into text on your PC. To access it press the Windows key plus letter H on your keyboard. Now you can give your figure rest and use your voice to start dictating. Programs that are running in the background drain battery of your laptop to turn them off. Go to settings and go in the privacy in the left, scroll down and select background apps. If you toggle this tap to switch off it will stop old apps from running. Or you can also switch off each app individually. Taskbar hide. This option provides more space on the screen. To activate it click right button on the taskbar, go to setting turn on automatically hide the taskbar. If you move your mouse away from the taskbar it will hide and when you move towards it will show again. Microsoft now has a similar feature like Apple's AirDrop called Nearby Sharing that will let you share content with another PC connected to your network or Bluetooth. To enable it search Nearby Sharing. Select it and toggle the switch on for Nearby Sharing. Now you can share your program. Copy and paste to action we do many times while working on project. You might get tired of having to switch between apps when copying content from one to another. Well there is a good news Microsoft has now come with a new feature called Clipboard. You can save multiple copied items on your clipboard history for later use. To access it open the settings app navigate to system clipboard. Under clipboard look for the sync across devices to copy from one device to paste another. Press Windows plus letter V will bring up the cloud clipboard. Slide to shutdown is a cool trick that you can use to power off your PC. To set it up right click on your desktop, go down to new and select shortcut. In the empty file enter %windir %system32 sladetashutdown.exe. In the empty bracket click on next and finish. So, X file has been created. Now when you double click on it. Just drag the bar all the way down to the bottom of your screen to power off. Open pinned program. Programs that you have pinned on your taskbar can be easily opened without having to click on them. By pressing window key plus number 1 on your keyboard. As you can see a program has opened. Same way you can open other program by pressing window key plus a number. Arrow shake is an old classic trick that's been around since Windows 7. If your screen is cluttered with open programs instead of minimizing each window individually. I'll show you a faster way. Just left click on the title bar of the program you're working with. And with the left mouse button held down shake your mouse back and forth from left to right to minimize old program. And if you want to bring Windows back up just shake your mouse again. So, these were some tips and tricks for Windows 10. If you know any more of sucks tricks then let us know them in the comments section. We will be doing more of such videos, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.